Hey everybody, Susan from Alabama, and I've got a little something different tonight. Um, Halloween has taken over my brain, and um, even though I haven't done Halloween in years at my house because nobody comes here, I've just kind of gone crazy for some family members that they're just getting their Christmas in the form of Halloween decorations. So, did a little shopping when I was in Birmingham. Um, I got some stuff. This this first stuff came from Ross, and I was just going to share with you, um, for everybody that's big Tuesday morning fans, to don't forget to go to some of these other stories, uh, stores, such as TJ Maxx and Ross, because occasionally they have some good buys on Martha Stewart products. I found this diamond lace um, circle edge punch cartridge for marked down to a dollar ninety nine. Now that's even cheaper than what we were finding things at Tuesday morning. And as it would, if the box is in a little bit bad shape, and I think I probably added to the condition of it. But um, for dollar ninety nine, it works with what else I've got. It's a good deal. I couldn't pass up. And then I also found at the same store uh, for dollar forty nine this stamp rate stamp around the page stamp kit. I'm going to try to slow myself down here. Uh, by Martha Stewart's one that I didn't have. I've got two other ones in my collection, and I stood there and looked at this one. And said, "Is that one of them I have?" And I said, "Well, for a dollar forty nine, if it is, I'll just add it to a." Uh, giveaway, but it's not something I already had, so I'll be adding that to my collection. And then I picked up a tablecloth for my daughter that has three children. Um, they're kind of rough on the table and do lots of spillings and stuff, so I got her a vinyl tablecloth for Halloween. And I just thought it was cute and something that they would enjoy, you know, without getting in trouble for buying them more toys. And then I picked up some Halloween. Um, dishcloths that I thought were cute. I'm going to probably cut these in half and then crochet uh, tops on them so that they can be hung from the uh, stove handle or whatever. My family seems to like a lot of those and it doesn't take me long to do it. Once I get going, it's just getting going that causes me. And I just couldn't resist the little guy. He's uh, cute as could be. These were packaged two in two in a pack for $4.99. That's not a bad price. Um, they are a whole lot better quality than what you're going to get at the Dollar Tree or Dollar General. I went that route, and I've got a whole bunch of them that I'll never use. Um, a whole lot of work for crocheting on the top of them and make, put the little button on it and the handle and stuff for it to just kind of wear out so quickly. So I've decided I'm not buying those cheap ones anymore. I'll get the little bit more expensive ones and get a little bit better wear out of it. But these owls and the fox and stuff are just as cute as can be. Uh, I have a small collection of owl bowls and stuff that I've started, and I just couldn't resist this one. I'm going to have this one for myself. And then, after shopping at Dollar Tree for way too many trips, uh, <clears throat> I've run into a problem. I started making a wreath the other night, and in my design, I came up about 32 inches short of the of a ribbon that I was putting on it and I can, I can tell that it's missing. So I went to Dollar Tree yesterday looking for some of that ribbon. It's some that had come in that wasn't on the earlier trucks. So I th hope that and I just bought it on Monday. So I thought some of the other stores would have it, but I didn't find it, but I found a whole lot of other stuff that I'll sh share with you in another video. And I'm going to try to just share things that I hadn't seen anybody else have. Or, you know, I think a lot of us make duplicates. And I know we don't all watch the same channels and everything. And I appreciate everybody that tunes me in. I have hit 100 subscribers. So I will be working on a giveaway. Uh, I have the merchandise here. I just got to get it put together and get a video made. And I made out little index cards with everybody's name that was listed in my subscribers list but there's not a hundred names on there so if your profile if you've subscribed to me and your profile is not available um, for public viewing or something please leave me a comment down below of this video 
and I will make sure that your name is entered into the contest. And it's a giveaway. It's going to be for the United States only, uh, over 18, all the good rules that apply to everybody else's giveaways. Um, but I don't want to leave anybody out. I don't have 100 names. I have 100 subscribers. I don't understand that. But um, if you can leave your name down or screen name, whatever you call it, channel name, down below... Uh, I will put your name into the drawing. You have till Friday evening at uh, midnight, Alabama time, which is central time, to get that in. Um, and then I'll be having the drawing and, and notifying the winner. And so anyway, I dropped my Dollar General in search of the same ribbon because I know they have some of the same thing as Dollar Tree. But I didn't find it. But I did find some little um, silicone owl. That's not an owl, Susan. That's a ghost. This is a ghost silicone ice tray. But what I use the silicone ice trays for is for uh, soap making. And so I thought these would be cute to make with melt and pour and stick in the top of some soap when I get those made. for. And I've got to get that on that, too, for the Halloween season. And then they had some jack-o'-lanterns also. Those were only a dollar a piece. Can't beat that, can you? Not even at the Dollar Tree. And then they had these little tinsel, mini tinsel decors. This is a little hat. Looks very similar to a hat I got at Dollar Tree. And this is a little cat. I got one that's bigger than this at the Dollar Tree. Same goes for the, let's see this. Jack-o'-lantern, the cat, the tree, and best of all, the gravestone marker. Anyway, I thought the four of them would look cute on a wreath because I'm doing deco mesh wreaths. And uh, Dollar Tree has no deco mesh except for Christmas. Yes, people. Christmas has hit the Dollar Tree. One store had their florals out. Another store had their deco mesh and some of the other items out. Uh, some lights. But I'm not quite ready for that. I did buy a couple of things in case they didn't. I missed them later on. But anyway, back to Halloween. These are little hangers. These were a dollar piece at the uh, Dollar General. And got a go that's a ghost. Notice that? Because I did good on that one. And then they had a witch, which I thought was cute. And an owl. And of course, what Halloween would be complete without a jack-o'-lantern. I'm going to probably put those on a wreath also. I picked up some chenille stems, pipe cleaners, fuzzy wraps, whatever you want to call them because I was running out. I did find some mesh. Now this is 25 feet of deco ribbon, mesh ribbon for five dollars. It was um, ten and a half basically inches by 25 feet and I think Dollar Tree's is only five and a half by uh, I forgot how long it is but anyway when I compared it in the fact that I could not find any at Dollar Tree I had to get some someplace this is six and a half by 15 it was two dollars and yes that's twice as much as I would have paid at Dollar Tree, but you, it's kind of, you know, what you're looking for, you got to get it where you can. And then I found this pretty green one. Um, okay, well, that's going to kind of wrap it up for this one because I have other things to share with you. I will never get caught up, and if I don't get caught up on the videos, my house is going to be sunk with this stuff just stacking up around me. So I'm going to wish everybody lots of uh, happiness in the following days. Pray for all those that are in the past of the hurricanes and the wildfires out in the west, northwest. Um, lots of bad things going on and lots of people need your prayers and support and um, have a glass of sweet iced tea on me and I'll check you on the flip-flop.